Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 2, Volume 8. I'm whizzing through these now. Uh, two more to go, and then I'm taking a break. So, anyway, we're on to this one. Um, this actually doesn't have a brand on it. It's one that I got recently. It's got, apart from 82, it doesn't actually have a brand written on it, funnily enough. Um, but it does have a list of what is probably on it, one of which is Overlander, and the other one is Road Blasters. So somebody was going for sort of those arcade games, because both, I think, were arcade games. Certainly Road Blasters was. Not sure about Overlander. I think it maybe came later, but we'll see. Um, we'll just have a look, quick look at the tape. Um, so we've got the tape. It's quite a big tape, actually. and It feels like there should be more on it when you've got that much in there. It looks like, I eh, don't know. I, I can't, you can never tell with these things. Um, computer, software... Limited or something at the top corner? I don't know. Can't really read it. Computer video, or video, sorry. Video software limited. Commentary. Ooh, 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 ooh. There might be something else on here. Somebody's over, maybe overwritten something here that was on here previously. Video software limited program. Beep. Oh, right, we're going to start with this side. I know it says, well, it actually says side one. We're going to start with this side because this sounds interesting. I wonder what this is. I wonder what Video Software Limited was. Now, it's obviously they've taken the, 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 the opportunity to record over it because it's got the tabs still in so they're not clicked out. Um, so they must have done that. Um, oh, I didn't even notice that when I picked that up. Right, okay. So that's our, that's our, that's our tape that we're going to be going for anyway. Um, but we always, as usual, we have a backup. Um, and this one's got our... Um, this is and keeps. I keep on forgetting his name, but um, Dave Birdsell keeps putting me correct. Right, I'll put the link in his description below to his channel. Um, that's Banzai Bear. There he is, Banzai Bear. So we've got Go Bear Mega Game, um, Pokes, and they start whatever on the tape. An exclusive, and I can see that says Bard's Tale. So so we've got Go Bear Mega Game at two. And I don't know what Go Bear Mega Game two is. Um, I know there was a one that was sort of like. Um, uh, Space Harrier, but I'm not sure whether this is or isn't. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to put our tape, today's tape, into a drive. Right, tape's in the drive and been rewound, so we're ready to go. Um, you'll notice a slight difference on the screen. We're using a, we're not using a plus two A for a change. I've actually got a production line. I've got a new one recently. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen because it's rather, it's, it's rather, it's rather clean and nice and neat. Um, and I've also noticed a, a significant difference in the number of things that load because I actually have a plus two A. In fact, I've got two plus two A's. Um, and a lot of people say to me that they're quite rare and uncommon. I got two of them. I don't know how I managed that. So when I started collecting spectrums again. Again, um, I managed to end up with two of those 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 models, um, and they can be a bit finicky um, because they changed, I believe, the, the the way that the memory was laid out on them. So, without further ado, though, we'll get out on uh, 48k basic, and we'll do load dip dip. My favourite, mind you, mind you, might be a mistake here because it's is Overlander a one to eight k game. Hmm. We'll go for it anyway because it's always the safest option anyway. So we'll go for that. So we've got Overlander, and I remember this one, I'm sure, I don't sure who created it, but it, it was sort of a, a road race type thing. Ooh, nice solid bars, might have a nice load here. Beep! Alright, that's not what I was expecting. It actually said that on the tape. Alright, should we list it? Um, okay, sorry, list. Somebody's loaded a program on here called Beep. Should we run it and hear see sound what it sounds like? Let's go. Okay. Should we do it again? Looks like somebody's own program. All right. Name that tune because I have no idea what it is. Okay, on we go. <laughs> let's 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 load the next bit. See whether it's there. Beep. Never heard of it. Never know. I don't know what the. Sorry, not never heard of it. Never heard the tune before. It sounds familiar, sort of. But uh, yeah, so we have beep on there. Let's go with Outland. Hopefully next, or Outlander. That's actually quite a good sci-fi movie. That one set. Ooh, what planets it's set on? 
Mm, go make a fool of myself here if I can't remember the planet. It's basically a movie with Sean Connery in it where he played a police officer on a, a mining colony somewhere in the solar system, our solar system. I want to say Neptune, but I'm not sure it was Neptune because... But either way, it was kind of a. It was there was there was a, a culture of um, of 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 drugs and um, uh, sort of you know to keep the miners happy and all this kind of stuff. It was one of those traditional sort of diastopic sort of futures where you know you go out there, you spend, you you give, you're paid a fortune, but you know you 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 waste it all on on sort of the things that the corporation sells you. So you're basically effectively giving all your money back to the corporation anyway. So they never lose any money; they just make lots and lots of money. You know. You're stuck on their bases to pay for their their rental and whatever else it is. Now, ah, yeah, I do remember Overlander. Now, the one thing I do remember about Overlander is not what you think I remember. I remember that the car wasn't actually the sports car that's in the middle of the screen there. I think it turns out to be some kind of 4x4 truck of some sort, rather than being the 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 the, the, the sports car that we were sort of treated to there. Something odd about the perspective though, the front of the car is leaning towards us and the back of the car is high. It's kind of twisted, isn't it? Maybe he's got the... F I don't... Uh, no. I was going to say, maybe he's got the wheels and a funny thing, but no, it is it is slightly twisted, isn't it? Because you... In, uh, would you not see more of the back from the angle that we're at? And also the wheels, the, the wheels, the, 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 the wheels themselves, the, the, you know, that the drives me, driving me nuts, really, that one wheel's a lot turn more than the other wheel. Not quite OCD on it, but uh, but it's but it's a bit strange. Elite. Yeah. Was it officially Elite? Did they create it? Probably not. They didn't, they didn't produce a lot of, they produced a lot of things, I don't think they actually, actually created anything themselves. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Overlander. Yeah, anyway, so the Sean Connery thing is well worth watching. If you like sort of that sci-fi thing, I think it's... Uh, I will may be wrong again. Uh, 80s, I think. It's uh, end of the 70s, 80s it came out. Um, I quite like the styling of it. I think it's one of those things that I think could still hold up. I'm now going to have to find the DVD amongst my collection. I've got it somewhere. Um, pull that out and have a watch of it because because I do remember it being quite it was quite it was quite a rough movie it was, wasn't it wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't a sort of kids sci-fi it was pretty pretty you know drug use combined with 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 a few other things you know it was it was pretty rough as a movie but it was it was good quite enjoyed it we're having a good load today beep was weird though wasn't it. I wonder if I wonder if it was a tune that they either made themselves or whether it was a tune to theme tune something. They obviously felt strongly enough that they recorded beep onto this onto this tape. Ooh, it's a good long load this one. Maybe it's just made today. I've had quite a good session actually with the spectrum today. There's a, there's, there's, there's games to come. Um, one that was quite, which which wouldn't load on my uh, plus two um, a. Uh, it's not to spoil the surprise too much, but it's uh, C5 Clive. I really enjoyed that one. So when that comes up, you just you uh, you know st stick around for it. It won't be too far. Um, I do have quite a few videos on sort of I try to pre-record um, and try and get those things out. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things. That's, it's I'm gonna get try and get that one out. Hopefully this week. Because that was, because that was a really, I really enjoyed that one. I, I, I was, it quite surprised me that I enjoyed it so much. It's interesting as well, though. Um, you know, I most things about most Spectrum games is I'm sure there are some rare ones out there, but the rare ones are probably the games that um, some of them wouldn't have been as good as anything uh, as good, if that makes sense. They're they're rare, but but they're not that good. I mean. Um, I do know of one seller who's got a Spectrum game, and apparently it's the only production um, one from Microgens, I think it is, Microgen, um, and it's around £500 and, and that he's trying to sell it for, and I, 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 um, I'm sure somebody, uh, some dear collector will want it at some point, but but if it's that rare, then realistically, it's a it's almost a it's almost a museum item, isn't it? It shouldn't it should be somebody should um, take the data off and preserve it because it's n nobody's going to do it again. That's the thing. It's never going to appear again. It, it's just it's just a bit sad that maybe there, but 
I'm not sure I could actually justify spending sort of £500 on a single tape that, that, that I think loads, I think they said it loads, but, but I don't remember justifying it. Right, okay. That's just weird. Right, redefine keys. Ah, to redefine keys. Let's start with that first. Move right, left, decelerate, accelerate, fire. Special weapon. And pause. And quit. Right, start game. Number f uh, S. All right, uh, you have to hunt down what you want. So let's go with uh, secret documents. Oh, there's voice. I've got to fill up the fuel. Right, let's fill up the fuel. Plenty of fuel. Oh, I can buy extra weapons. I hadn't known that. I would have saved some cash. A turbocharger. Missiles. Flamethrower. 100. I fancy a turbocharger, though. I've got a turbocharger. So it's just like chase HQ. Yeah, there you go. See, the car's quite square, really. So it's like a um, a diastopic future with a with a with a sort of um, you know um, crash things on the road. Oh, maybe it is like the car that's there. I don't know. I like that though. Do you see that one? It went over the angles there. Kind of went up at a sort of you know. Ooh, yeah, quite like that. When it goes over the bumps, it kind of does give you that that feeling it's moving. Quite like it. Right. I haven't come across this the the guy or whatever I'm else I'm meant to be doing meeting. I've shot a few people. Oh, that bicycle, that cyclist there. You get points by money. Ooh, it's worth killing them all. I hadn't realised I got money for for killing them all. I do. It's. I kind of get to give you the feeling it's Chase HQ, but it's not. I think we just have to. Yeah, that's what it is. You just have to dick a run. So I just have to make it to the other end without losing the the, the cargo that I've got. Look at those guys on the side of the road shooting at me. They are the shooting at me at the edge of the road. Good good job on flying at full tilt. In diastopic future. Everybody drives cars. <laughs> We're going downhill. Oh no. You can get off, mate. There, yeah, I've got yet. Oh, no! Oh, I managed to avoid it. I thought for a minute that was going to crash into it. Yes. I managed to go full tilt everywhere, though. It seems all right. Don't know if this one was an arcade game. Not convinced it was. This guy, this kind of maybe was inspired by Road Blasters. I don't know if it was before or after. This is 88. Well, with, there's Road Blasters in theory on the other side of this tape, so we might be able to see that. When it comes to it. I am going full speed ahead here. Oh, crash though. Is there a distance meter? I'm looking now. Let's see if there's a... Hang on, how did I die? Not sure about that. Didn't I have to speed up quick then? Ah, when you get up to top speed, you don't have to do anything other than just move left and right. That's cool. Ah! Big truck. Got 2,000 there from him. Right, I'm going to hit my turbocharger, alright? Here we go. I hit it. Oh, oh, he's shooting. That's why That's why he's got me. I've lost my, another, another, another vehicle. Makes the most strange exploding noise ever. Maybe it is a car. I just always looked a bit truck-like to me, because it's a bit square on the back. Ah, I got him! But he blew me up at the same time. See, I'd have been quite happy with this. What was that other one with the with the S Ford Escort in it? Um, Nightmare Rally, I think it was. Had the 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 art by um, the chap that 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 was it Bob Wakefield or oh, Wake? Oh no, I feel really bad now because 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 he passed away last year and I can't remember his name. He did the Batman covers as well. Anyway, um, he 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 um, yeah he did um, he he did. He did that one, didn't he? Nightmare Rally. It was such a beautiful picture. I mean, the game was actually a Ford Escort, but the actual um, cover art was, uh, I think it was a Lamborghini, wasn't it? It was Lamborghini Contash, um, which is a... Wow. 
not had a much problem with motorcycles before, now we do. Um, yeah, a Lamborghini, but but it was really sort of brightly cut. I always appreciated that. I always appreciated the game. I always thought it was a bit weird. I haven't got it. I really like it, but I haven't got it. Um, always, as I say, always a little bit sort of... I want to kill that like motorcyclist. Oh, look at the burnt down trees. It's after the post-apocalyptic... Uh, I don't know, whatever it was. Oh, why do they keep destroying me now? They didn't before. I got the turbo charger, but I don't think that does. I don't think. I think that's just pre fitted and it helps me to accelerate really fast. There doesn't seem to be any time limit on this. Uh, just need, seems to be drive point A to point B. It's a long drive, though. It's not the quickest of drives, is it? It's quite. It's quite brutal in the in the in the length. How, hang on a minute. You can crash into a car, but a motorcyclist will kill you. Maybe they're like armed with explosives or something like that. This will attach some some explosives to their to their motorcycles, possibly. I don't know. Your grips to the road something brilliant though, because it does never you can't you don't really feel you know when you go around the corners and sometimes the game starts pulling and you know that there's the cars are gonna slide left right. It doesn't happen with this. It's none at all. Nothing like that. Nothing at all. I'm really interested to know what the program is on here though. Oh, you see these bullets going across the screen. Bit hard to see, but they're there. Oh, got hit by a bullet. I'm out of cars as well now. Unbelievable. Game over. Oh, okay. Kind of short and sweet, really, wasn't it? Quite liked that one, actually. That wasn't too bad. Overlander. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, do you know something? I've realised what it was called, by the way. The Sean Connery thing's not called Overlander. It's called Outlander. But either way, um, Overlander, just kind of similar naming, isn't it? So, so um, yeah, that was quite good. I quite liked that one. Quite, quite a long journey, though. There was no, I didn't see any, did you, did, maybe it's just me, but I didn't see any distance coming up on it. I didn't see where I was going to get to or when I was going to get there. That was kind of annoying. Um, you know, you put fuel in the vehicle, but you don't know whether or not you've got enough fuel to get from point A to point B. Anyway, we'll quit that, and now we're going to see whatever else is on this tape. Let's push the button here. Um, I'm actually going to get tape drive out just in case, and we're going to press the. Uh, we're going to go for a load again, and we'll see whether or not we're going to see anything. Anybody heard of Video Systems Limited, though? Does it sound something? Does it sound like something that anybody's actually heard of? Because it's not a company I've heard of, um, and, and I just think that, that there might be something, something more to this. Right, so I'm just going to play the tape a bit. Making a sort of squelching noise. Don't think that's on there. It's squelching a bit more. But I think we're going to find some commentary on the other side. So if, if we don't find it on this side... That's no, squelching. Hmm. Come on, we'll fast forward a bit more. Okay. Oh. We have noise. I'm going to fast forward a bit through that and see if we can get anything else. Hang on, we'll put it in a normal tape drive and we'll see if we can get get some kind of output from that. Might be a bit loud, sorry, apologise. Interesting, okay. It sounds like, uh, uh, it sounds to me more like machinery being recorded than anything else. Back to silence. I'm just just fast forwarding here on the other the, my other tape drip deck. Okay. Quick fast forward. No, just 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 white noise, nothing exciting there at all. No, 
know, we're, we're almost we're almost uh, at, at, well, we're past the uh, three quarter mark, so there's nothing else there. Yeah, well and truly, we're almost at the end of the tape now. And there we are. Right, okay, let's swap it over and put it on the other side. Now, I'm interested. We're going to play Road Blasters now, but we'll see if, it's, if, it, if it'll load. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, though, if there's anything else interesting afterwards. That This is going to be the, this is going to be interesting, this one. See if there is this commentary it talks about on the back of it. Maybe we can get some insight into actually what was on this tape. That would be really interesting. Right, we're, we're, Road Blasters, though, was that a multi-loader? I can't remember. I think it is. I've got the feeling. My feeling in my bones that it's a multi-loader. Right, here we go. Terribly fast lines. Yeah, Road Blaster. I never played this in the arcade. It always looked like fun, but it was like... I know, Was there a sit-down version of it? Because I know that there was a stand-up sort of cabinet for it. Um, with, a, with a steering wheel on it. Um, did, he, did he even finish it? it featured in that Disney movie, didn't it? The um, Wreck-It Ralph movie. It featured in that. Interesting, you know? But he definitely... But in, in that, it, there was they had the stand-up version as again. I don't even know if I had a sit-down version. Something brilliant about arcades. Uh, something brilliant about 80s and 90s arcades. Unfortunately, that was kind of, you know, the home sort of games console was kind of bringing the end of it. What you, the reason you had a home games console though was that you you wanted to bring the arcade into your house. So you were wanting basically you were wanting conversions of oh lovely, um, you are wanting conversions of those games, those kind of um, the ones that you were playing in the arcade, and you wanted them at home. But you knew they were never going to be quite as good. So you'd always go down the arcade if you wanted the like the, the real experience if so, as such. Um, not to say there weren't some good 8-bit console games and 16-bit and ones. Um, whoa. God, how was everything going on there? We had we had multi-colours and fast-loading bits and all kinds going on there. To this day, it still impresses me when they change the colour of the bars on the edge. I'm so sad. And it's just a really, it really does impress me that, that, that they could make those those go different colours. And um, I wasn't so keen on the ones where they put the timer on. I, 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 I appreciated knowing the time. But I, yeah, I like this one. It's got a timer. Um, but I didn't really, it didn't really, it didn't really bother me one way or the other. Um, whether or not they had a timer or not. So, but uh, US Gold. Road Blasters. Yeah, it's basically a sports car with a uh, gun attached to the top. I think this was better than out, uh, um, Overlander. I think that's the thing. I think this is a better, a better game. Um, this is '86, so that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So Elite had a ver created a version in '88. Um, maybe they waited, waited for the whole thing to die down. You know, sort of timing-wise. Maybe they waited for for people to to sort of. I don't know. Wonder what you know. You know, Road Blaster's been done, so let's just redo it again. A lot of cloning went on in the 80s. Mm. But yeah, your arcade experience was, was really was key to it all. You know, you went to the arcade to play Road Blasters and you were kind of pleased when it came home to you, but at the same time you'd be quite... If somebody said to you, you want to go to the arcade and play, you'd probably be like, yeah, I want to go to the arcade, because that was where it really was. That was where the, the hardware had been built specifically for it and had the, the right peripherals and all of the experience that went with it. The, 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 the you know the steering wheels I mean outruns is one of my you know one of my real favorite games I really enjoy outrun I think it's a stunning game um, there are some very good um, uh, you know uh, conversions to, to different to, to, to different uh, platforms but outrun in the arcade to this day with the sit down chair with the high and low gears in that driving that 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 uh, Ferrari um, was just unbelievable you, 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 you know it's an experience that uh, this isn't going to load by the way that well maybe it is I, I no no I don't know it doesn't look good that doesn't look good to me or maybe it is I don't know just confusing me now Huh? <laughs> it's 
Screen's gone black. Yeah, Outlook was one of the, the most fantastic games ever. It really was. Uh, do we want to give that another try? Or do we try and try the mute, the sound? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I have got my... Um, I'm going to leave it at the tape where it is. We'll reset that. Um, and what I'll do is I've got my I've got my little um, I've got my um, CD tape cassette adapter, which I'm going to stick into my phone. So I'm just going to get my phone now. I'll stick that into my phone, and we'll see if I can find it on um, Zenix Play, and we'll see if we can load it from there because it's we we want to we want to see Road Blasters because we want to see the comparison realistically between that and um, oh can't spell Road. Can see the comparison between that and Overlander. Uh, US Gold 128k version. Oh yes, definitely. Let's go the 128k version. Oh, should we go with the? We'll go with well, yeah, we'll go with the 128k version. That looks good. Right. Press play on there. Tape loader. Um, stop. Try that one. It's alright, sorry. Wrong game in it previously. The 128k version. This is the um, Kix release of it. Um, the, the, there's, there's the US Gold release of it. Um, now, I've chosen the Kix release because I think they've optimised the install and I'll tell you why. Because I'm looking at it here um, and the released, the re-released one, and it's actually 88 it seems the date on this. Um, even though it's 86 for um, the Atari one, so I guess Elite tried to copy at the same time. But anyway, the reason for going for this version right over the above the other version is this loader is only, um, uh, only brace yourself, nine and a half minutes. That's what it says the tape is. Nine and a half minutes. I think there's other loading parts to it, to be honest with you. Um, and the the um, US Gold version, um, 128k version. Um, is, or the original US code, it's 12 minutes and 18 seconds. It's a bit of a monster, isn't it, really? Oh! There's some, something interesting. Now, I don't... Do you know that other thing said? Beep? Just wondering. Copy protection that he started to use, wasn't it? There was a lot of there was there was some copy protection for the Spectrum stuff. Um, to be fair, though, at the end of the day, it was just sound. So as long as you could copy the sound almost accurately, I think you could get away with it. Um, I'm not sure whether or not there was anything out there that kind of stopped that happening. I don't remember anything. Not to say it didn't happen. Yeah, so we've got oh look at that seven minutes. Hey, some loader, really is. But this is the 128k version, so we've gone the whole hog here. We've gone, we've gone for the, we've gone for the daddy version of it. We might as well, if we've got 128k machine, we might as well load everything as we, as it stands. So, 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 uh, sit back, uh, relax, maybe get a coffee in between. I don't know, something like that. I'm not gonna pause. I'm just, we're, we're gonna have to sit through it. I'm just really horrible. That's the kind of person who's going to make you sit through the entire loader. Because I have to. <laughs> and it's one of the worst kind as well, because it actually gives you the time, so you can sit there and go... <sighs> Six minutes, 42 seconds. Maybe I should read the manual now. That's the thing, you'll be thinking, you know, I'll read the manual now. And after you've read the menu for the 30th time... It might load, well, maybe not 30 times, maybe 12 times. 30 seconds per load, uh, you know, per, per thing? Maybe not. Might maybe not be that long. Can't believe that's got that. has got nine minutes to load. I hope it loads. If it doesn't load after that this time, we're going to be, I'm going to be gutted. But I'm really desperate now to see what's the end of this tape that we had previously. And I'm going to read that tape while we've got a look, a look at it. I'm going to look at the cover of it. Right, I've got it, I've got it now. Now, I haven't... Uh, it's definitely... It looks like EDU something or other. Video... Yeah, ED... 
Uh, it's like a EDV? Mm. Something or other. It's like a weird logo in the top corner. Um, and if I remember, I'll put it on the screen so you get forced to look at it as well while, for a second while I'm looking at it. Um, video Limited. And it says commentary on the side B. Now, this is going to be interesting because I'm wondering, you know, there's programs on the side one. I mean, what would you, what could you possibly have created video-wise if you were? But bear in mind, this isn't the ZX Spectrum, which is basically a, a text-based palette rather than a. Oh, you! That was me. I jinxed that one. Right, that's it. Road, no road blasters for any of us. Let's find out what's on the commentary. All right, let's stop that and let's stop. Let's find out what's on the commentary. It didn't like. It wasn't. I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it wasn't going to like us. Right, okay, I'll get this out of the drive while I'm on it. Right, no, but I'm just wondering what this could possibly be. So let us, let's, let's fast, let's see if there's any data on it first. And then let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's see if we can load anything else, if there's anything else to load on here first. Let's do, go with that. I'm going to go tape loader because it might be 128k. Right, oh, hang on. Now, nice. see, that's what... That's what I expected. You see this this loading here. This is right after Road Blaster. So this is would have been loaded in on the 128k, but on the 48k you would have had levels to load. So let's fast forward this and see what we got. There's some more. Okay, we'll pass that. Okay, might another another load of a bit of data for the level. It's a really nice production line spectrum, this one, actually. I'm very pleased with it. Feels very solid. Um, real effort made to clean it to clean it up um, and make it nice. He had um, a toast rack as well, um, a 128k toasty. Um, the problem was that, that, that I saw the initial sort of bidding had already got it up to 200 quid and this was like with six days left and I was like, oh, it's going to go for a fortune. I mean, and he was giving away a few good tapes as well with it, so just which was I thought was quite nice to do, but uh, um, yeah, and it was up to... Oh, was it, it was up to 200 quid in the first within six days and then uh, we were on to sort of... I don't know, we were on to... We were on to sort of... I don't know, the last few, last hours, and then you've got that last few seconds of people bidding crazily in there. I mean, it went for 300 quid nearly, um, and I thought, you know, I don't mind, but it just seems a bit, it just seems a bit excessive. I mean, I know that the, a lot of people see them as the last true, um, these are the levels you see definitely for, 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 for Road Blasters, um, last true, you know, spectrum, but, but, but it's an awful lot of money to pay for one. I'd love one for my collection. I just, I just, I just can't justify the money. Justifying the money is, is one of the big things with these things, isn't it? You know, justifying spending that kind of money on something, as much as you love them. Um, but I'm, pl I'm a game player. I like to play the games, um, so I can live with it. Because the production line is pretty similar. In fact, the layout, the chips are better, in, in the sense of the memory-wise, so that so you don't get the problems you get with the A, which of course they sorted with the B, but. Uh, um, We've not got to. We're still fast forwarding a lot. We've not got to anything other than these data. This is all road blaster data. I'm hoping it's not been all recorded over with road blaster data. About halfway through the tape here. I'm just looking. I've just moved the microphone over while I did that. Come on. Come on. Commentary. No, no, we're not doing well, we're getting, we're more than halfway through the tape. I want a blast of somebody speaking, and it's not happened. Unless this data, this, this data here is actually this commentary from people, which I can't load. Maybe this is the commentary. Maybe the commentary is somebody digitised speech. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. This one's got me a bit stumped. A lot of data on here. Can't all be road blasters. I can't believe that it is for one second. I 
feel we're almost at the end of the tape as well now. We may actually be at the end of the tape. What is it? I want to know! How do I load it? Okay, in the comments below, if you think you know a way of loading, just direct... I mean, I, there's obviously no header on it. Um, so, if you can think of a way of directly loading that data, I will actually do it as a bonus feature on the next tape. If you can think of a way that I might possibly be able to see what what's going on there. Or at least something. Do something with it. Because I was thinking commentary would definitely be somebody speaking. Just, did I hear something there? Okay, we've got a lot of silence now. I'm just going to pop the tape out for a second, see how much we've got left of it. Oh, none at all. Absolutely no tape space whatsoever no nope. no commentary guys I'm really sorry about that I'm gutted actually because I, I I I think I think I I think this this th there was treasure to be had there in the sense of what was what was what was on that one really is that's that's really annoying that I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of kind of sad that that's the case I'm just you know what I'm doing I'm just looking I'm just looking e g d E G U Right. What do I do? Quick Google. Quick Google. Quick quick search. Uh, I wanna do this now and we'll see if we can find it. Because I I'm I'm quite I'm quite video video software. Limited. ZX Spectrum Video Software Limited. I'm not going with the letters because I'll see what it is. I can't see anything. There's nothing coming up there. So I don't know what that was. Um, if you've ever heard of this, I mean, I'm just good. I've just done a quick search for it. You know, it's Video Vault Limited, but this is not called Video Vault Limited. This is Video Software. Um, No, this is not. This is not. This is not what I'm thinking of. Video Vault. Video Vault um, Limited is um, a kind of compilation disc thing created by people. That doesn't sound like what we're looking for. So that's not. That's not what we're looking for. So I'll uh, again. Uh, uh, you know what I'll do is I'll again stick a um, a screenshot up of the of the uh, sort of. The, the commentary there or the the, 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 the thing that says what it is um, if you can work out what it is I would really like to know thank you anyway right okay let's carry on and um, we have got our uh, your your Sinclair user cover tape we got our Banzai bear game to come which is um, bedroom uh, bed bed burden it's um, bear go um, mega game 2 so let's give him a try. Um, I hope it's going to work because we had tape on it. But this time around, I haven't taken the tape off because remember last time I took the tape off and the tape never loaded then because it was just like, nope, not going to work because you've uh, you've taken off thirty year old tape off my my connection. So let's give him let's give him a go. We're we'll going to play this one and then we've got the pokes afterwards, which is interesting. We'll see, just see what pokes were actually on here uh, for what games. All right. Go Bear Go! Go Bear Go! It doesn't actually say Go Bear Go on the front of it, it says Bear Go! Mega Game 2! We'll get a picture of this crazy, crazy bear with its, with its, with its, uh, with its, its flag sort of bandana on its head. Probably. Maybe not. I'm really disappointed by that. I, I was hoping for the commentary. I think maybe the commentary was is digital though. I don't. I. I, I know. I'm sure. That's the weird thing about it. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty convinced that the the sound of the 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 um the the uh, I'm pretty convinced that the oh, come on spit it out. Pretty convinced that um 
the, the loading bits there were, were not to do with road blasters at this point because they were continual throughout the entire um, with, throughout the entire load of the, 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 the whole thing so I'm pretty convinced that 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 that, that, that they it just doesn't seem right I mean um, that tape is, was massive um, and I don't think road blasters is that massive I don't know it's 12 minutes but uh, that's a bit ridiculous isn't it so go bego I have no idea what this one's about he's wearing his he's wearing his bomber jacket and he's pointing he's like yes you next there's like bullets holes behind him blasting off the wall I quite like these ones which were created specifically for them. They're usually quite short, um, but they're usually quite good fun, actually, these sort of your Sinclair created uh, um, games, and so, you know, and Sinclair user games, and, and even Crash at a later date. I don't think Crash had a tape on it all the time, though, did it? I think Crash was one of those game magazines that didn't do a tape, necessarily. Or was it? Did it always have a tape? No, I don't think it did, you know. I remember it was a bit mighty good read, but I uh, don't remember it always having a tape on it. Bard's Tale. Now, that was one of my faves on the spec. I used to play that for loads and loads and loads, because you could save your party, then go for a wander around the city and, and, and in the dungeons and things. It's really good. Are we done? <gasps> yes. Right, okay. Uh, load screens off tape play game okay um all right and what have I got to do oh, I've got to push these at these guys that's ah, one of them yeah it's like um oh pengu is it the game where you it's a it's, a, it's basically push the push the the Take boxes around um, to kill the uh, creatures. Come on up here. Do I get extra points for the Your Sinclair ones? Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah! No, no extra points for Your Sinclair. Now, what do I have to do? Break all the boxes? I don't know what I have to do now. Alright, you got to get them all together. you got to push all the your Sinclair things together. Okay, well that's not going to help, is it? In a row? Mm, I'm just going to make a mistake here, aren't I? time up okay so I guess I must be pushing them all together I don't know if it's in a row or what but I can probably do that really quickly look like this boom all right kind of kills these guys I think I meant to destroy all the boxes as well think at the same time as destroying all the the duty things that are there it takes that's a that's a quite a, that's a new approach to the game though I didn't expect to have to destroy all those I mean they're actually quite helpful then because they they're not actually doing anything other than times run out oh hang on Ah, so you've got to push the Your Sinclair signs together. Ah, uh, okay. So there is actually, there is a method to the madness kind of thing. Um, Alright, you've got, there's other creatures come out. I'm still not sure what the, the point of it is.
I think I've got to push all your Sinclair things together, which is fine. I can do that. And then I've got to kill all the the, the, cre the creatures, which is fine as well. I can do that. Uh, that's one, two. Now, in theory, if I kill this one, we're all good to go. Okay, that should be it. Yeah. So you got to get the three your Sinclair things in a line. One way or the other, it doesn't really matter which way. Um, and then, once you've done that, you just have to kill all the creatures, which is quite easy to do, actually. And it looks like there's a map and screen editor for the game, which is kind of cool. Nice feature. Oh, been killed. Pretty, pretty simplistic, but it, it works. Slightly different thing in the fact that you've got to use the Your Sinclair things to, 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 to finish the level, which is great. I see this will be the like the publishing stuff that kind of going on about with it. So you push that, push that. Get the your Sinclair thing, push that down. Blah. go boom we got him oops ouch game over it was all right best funny color I like the screenshot though this loading screen is fantastic isn't it I mean as I said to you before they're pretty simplistic games they always were for the sort of the the tape things that they were so um, right, let's load the pokes and see what they look like. Let's see what pokes we would have got this week if we were getting our getting our fix of uh, of your the yeah, Sinclair user poke loader. These are quite clever, they're really, because they basically allowed you to solve save you having to type them all in. I quite like typing them in the press and break and all that though. It's got something kind of cool about adding an additional line or editing a line and changing where things went to. Remember that? That was kind of cool. So I quite, as I said before, oh, we'll have a little, another little try of that. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. There we go. Let's load that again. Quick load of this one. As I said to you before, previously, I quite like this because they were kind of a bit of an art art show sometimes they often they did like a nice background and whatever else it's probably overkill all this loading you know they, they, they're just talking about adding a, like a front end to a game that you would have been playing anyway so it kind of started the game with that loader on it beforehand so so what they used to do is they used to either put music on it they would put in different loading sort of things it was really quite nice that they put to the effort that they actually did with it i'm quite looking forward to seeing bard's tale because i haven't seen bard's tale on spectrum in like ever i don't even i must i must have more day on it I must have owned it. I feel like I did. I certainly have it on the PC. Um, I have like a, an interplay uh, multi pack, and it has a it has a, a manual with it that's about I don't know inch and a half thick. It's a monster um, with all the games actually in it. There we go. Enter the poke menu. Yeah, because they got you know it's quite nice. They got to like the names at the bottom of it, and things flew past and poke city at the top. Used to quite like it. Look, oh look! So we got Road Wars, IK Plus, Kickstart Two. What would you do to Kickstart Two? Come on, Red October, Predator, Inside Outing, and Platoon. I wonder what they did with Kickstart. Info. Fed up with getting terrible times. Oh, because the time's frozen. Right. Why would you want to do that? It's such a simple game. Wow. That's a terrible. Terrible idea. I wonder what IK Plus got. Uh, down and out. Well, now white always wins. Well, that might have been quite good. But to be fair, it's it's quite a, kind of a cool game anyway. You wouldn't probably wouldn't want to do that to it. Just Road Wars, not one I played. 
You've got infinite supply of torpedoes. Cool. Now let's have a look here. Red October. I wonder what Platoon got. Infinite lives, probably. Each level of the game is tough to complete, so you want to load any part you want. Alright, so you can load any level you like. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, that's, not, that's not too bad, actually. It's a nice, nice selection. Nice selection. Two to quit the program. Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, let's flip it over. I'm looking forward to this, actually, though. I really am. I'm looking forward to This is the demo of, uh, of the game. So, I, I don't know how... Oh, I thought I'd rewound that there. Obviously hadn't. Just l really like Bard's Tale, because um, the magic was like, uh, you had to put like three letters in to cast a spell, so there was like, there wasn't like, just choose fireball. You had to like, as if you were putting on your runes to actually cast the thing, you know, reading from your spell book or whatever else, when you were a wizard. That was kind of cool. I liked that. I think that was really good. Um, it was quite an in-depth manual. I'm quite convinced I actually owned the whole the whole thing, because I can remember those those features of the, of the, of the Spectrum version. Quite enjoyed it. I think of it, but this is, these are the sort of times. 1989. Um, I still had my Spectrum, um, but but by then, 1989, um, my dad had bought our first 286 PC. Um, and by that point, we were kind of moving into. I was starting to move into things. I started. We started learning about games like Wing Commander and other things. So you kind of, you know, your little eight bit computer kind of goes to one side. You're still playing it. I was still playing games like Chaos and whatever else on there. But then, uh, sort of as the nineties, early nineties rolled around, I was into. I was into you know Sega consoles, um, you know Super Nintendo consoles. Um, and then I was then then and then I did a little swap of deal with my friend, and I swapped my my Super Nintendo for his Commodore Amiga. So I was quite late to the Amiga game, by the way. I wasn't one of the early adopters of it. I got an A five hundred with a another half meg um, installed in it. For in ooh, I think it was about ninety two actually. So I was quite late to the game with it. Um, um, and then I was really really into it for for good number of years had it even when i was at university it used to go with me everywhere you remember how big the a500 in fact you probably most of you've got still got them but you know how big the a500 is i used to pack that up in a suitcase um including its massive power supply and a selection of discs and take that to university backwards and forwards it was a nightmare it weighed a ton i even brought my telly as well my portable telly i mean i should drag that up and down on the railways um for for 250 odd miles and then 250 odd miles back again oh can't you can't believe how 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 bad that was um by the time i finished university though i had my first my first pc my own um which was uh which was uh well i mean the commodore amiga wasn't in pc but 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 you know as in sort of dos and windows and all that kind of stuff my first sort of pc and i had a, a 486 um dx 100 it was 486DX100 it was really fast it was faster than some early Pentiums because Pentiums 75 was slower than it and the 90 was also slower than it it was a really really cracking machine um, it do, ran Doom and Doom 2 like it, it was blistering it was everything was full tilt everything was full screen and it was it was a really great machine I really enjoyed that um, it was a home build well it was built for me but um, it was a home build effectively um, with all the bit with the bits and pieces in it, I had that for quite a long time. Actually, that machine. In fact, it it, it it's it's sign of the times. I mean, I think and when I first got it, I don't think the hard disk was particularly big. If it was two hundred fifty meg, I'd be surprised. Um, by the time I got to, to by the time by the time I finished using it, it actually had a six point five gig hard disk in it it was a very odd number and it was a very odd drive um but it worked but the bios hated it the bios was like no nah, that doesn't exist it can't possibly be the case um but i think it was on windows 95 i upgrade i went through operating systems and all kinds of that machine it was really 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 well loved in fact i had it um right up until 1999 actually so 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 20 years ago i still had that machine 
Unfortunately, I kind of ditched a lot of this stuff. I kind of wish I hadn't, because I mean, voodoo cards, which I kind of had later, um, are worth a fortune nowadays. Um, I had voodoo, um, voodoo two cards and voodoo's. Um, you know, it, it was all over the place. You know, three D FX stuff was just was was my my thing, um, and we had lots of these bits and pieces. And unfortunately, they're now worth a fortune. Um, you kind of—it's all these things, isn't it? You trade them up as you go along. I, I traded in a lot of my equipment, mainly for PCs. I was always—I was always moving forward with PCs, and then after the 90s into the 2000s, I just got bored of them. Um, I stopped bored of PCs as such, and moved on to moved on to back onto consoles. Um, anyway, right, okay. Um, so that we've got a little character. So we've got Brian the Fist, El Cid, Samson, Marcus, Merlin, and Omar. Um, so these are different characters that are there. So can we create a character or can we remove a character? Should we create a character? Or remove a character? Let's create a character. I'm going to replace um, Brian the Fist. Roster's full. I've got to remove one. Ah, to remove. Enter the character's name. Oh, God. Oh. Remove. I, uh, uh, why isn't it removed it? I thought that would work. Oh, because I pressed the wrong silly key. Me typing. I uh, and delete, delete the. Oh come on, Omar. Then <laughs> sorry, Omar. Uh, created it right create a character uh, so you got to choose it's kind of Dungeons and Dragons in that sense so let's go with an elf because he would have been a magical user anyway so an elf let's go with magic user let's go with magician number this is before we got the word mage I guess a mage I four character's name um, oh no there you go he's not an elf though is he is that a spell Gandalf Right, so he's got a magic user. So that's that's it. So basically, we get we basically got your characters, and then you can basically exit the guild, and you're facing east now. I wonder what the keys are. Uh, that's party. E. That's to equip. Ah. Uh, D, no, I don't want to drop any items. T, no. How do I go back? S, zero, one. Ah, um, forgotten all the keys. Well, I, I, I'm going to go through it in short. In short, it's it's a sort of Dungeons and Dragons game. I've spent a lot of time playing it. You wander through the city and the town, um, finding dungeons, building your loot. I'm sure there's a something more to it than that, um, and I can't remember what it was off the top of my head, but it's quite a good. The Bard's Tale, of course, is because it's a tale. Bard's telling the story of these these fantastic sort of um, heroes as they, they travel through, so you're you're running through the Bard's Tale, which is kind of a nice nice way of doing it. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Generic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.